Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be learning how to make mouse trails in Scratch 3.0. So now let's get started. First we'll code the different buttons. So first we'll code the magic wand button. When this sprite is clicked, let's zoom in. Then we'll go to events and take broadcast message, a new message named magic wand. Magic wand. Okay. So now it will broadcast magic wand. Now we'll do the coding for the rainbow button. So for the rainbow button, when this sprite is clicked, broadcast a new message named rainbow. Yes. Now we'll do the coding for the sparkles button. So for the sparkles button, we'll again take when this sprite is clicked. That means when the button is clicked, broadcast a new message. The message will be named as sparkles. Now we'll do the coding for the sparkles mouse trail. We'll take when the flag is clicked. Then we go to the look section and take the hide block. Then we'll again take when the flag is clicked. After when the flag is clicked, forever, inside the forever block, as we have six costumes over here for the sparkles, we'll go to the code and go to looks and take switch costume to pick random one to six as we have six costumes. Now we'll go to motions and take go to mouse pointer that means it will always follow the mouse pointer wherever it goes now we'll take the create clone of myself block it will create clones of itself then when i start as a clone we'll go to looks and take the block set the ghost effect to zero now we'll go to motion section and from the motion section, we'll take point in direction 90 and we'll change it 90 to pick random 180 to minus 179. After point in direction block, we'll go to events and take the repeat 10. We'll change it to repeat 100, repeat 100 times, move 10 steps. It will move 10 steps into its direction and then go to looks and take the change ghost effect by we'll change it by seven you can experiment so we'll go to control section now delete this clone yes now we'll take when i receive sparkles so when i receive sparkles will show itself duplicate this and now when i receive the next message magic wand will hide itself when I receive the next message, rainbow, hide. Like this, this is the code of the sparkles. Now we'll code for the star. So for the stars, we want it to make look like a magic wand. So when the flag is clicked, hide. When the flag is clicked again, we'll take the block forever. Inside the forever block, we'll go to motions and take the go to mouse pointer. That means it will always follow the mouse pointer. Then go to control section and take create clone of myself. It will create a clone. When I start as a clone, that means when the sprite starts as a clone, go to looks and take the set ghost effect to zero. After set ghost effect to zero, go to motions and take point in direction, pick random 180 to minus 179 as we did for the sparkles. Now after this block, we'll take repeat 100 times. We'll go to looks and take the block. Change size. We'll decrease the size by minus 5. And then we'll go to motions. And we'll take move 10 steps. Go to looks and take the change. Ghost effect by 7. Delete this clone after the use. Now we'll take when I receive magic wand. Show, duplicate this sprite and take when I receive rainbow height. Duplicate this again. When I receive sparkles height. Now we'll do the code for the stick of the wand. So for the stick of the wand, we'll take when the flag is clicked. Let's zoom in so it's clear. Looks. We'll take height. 
then after this we'll take again the when the flag is clicked block after this when the flag is clicked we'll take forever inside forever block we'll put go to star that means it will always follow the star wherever it goes and go to back layer that means it will go to the back layer then we'll take when i receive magic wand it will show itself so from looks show block then duplicate it when i receive rainbow we'll take the block hide duplicate this when i receive sparkles hide now we'll do the coding for the rainbow mouse trail so the rainbow mouse trail we'll take when the flag is clicked let's zoom in looks will take hide now we'll again take when the flag is clicked after this we'll take forever inside the forever block we'll go to looks and take change color effect by 5 that means it will look like a rainbow go to random position and change this random position to go to mouse pointer that means it will always follow the mouse pointer create clone of myself when i start as a clone we'll go to looks and take set ghost effect to 0 after set ghost effect to 0 we'll take repeat 100 times we'll turn towards the right 10 degrees then we'll go to look section and take change the ghost effect by 7 or you can experiment as it you want 4 5 6 7 i'll be taking 5 delete this clone now we'll take the block when i receive rainbow when i receive rainbow we will make it show itself duplicate this as when i receive the other so when i receive magic wand hide and duplicate this and when i receive the sparkles hide now this is the coding of the rainbow one so now we can test out a project we can select from different buttons this is the magic wand mouse trail and this is the rainbow one the rainbow one looks very cool this is the sparkles mouse trail it looks like sparkles in the sky yes So if you like the project don't forget to like share and subscribe for more such videos don't forget to put the notification bell on bye meet you next time